For some, success is measured by progress. One step, then another. The journey is hard, but holds its own rewards. For others, only the destination counts. Only one measure of achievement truly matters. Indeed, history is written by the winners. The story continues. The NBA Playoffs, Round 1. And moments ago, the National Anthem and the mental preparation for the game ahead. The Staples Center filled to capacity. Well, folks, here we go. Game four of the NBA playoffs. Postseason action right here. Welcome to 2K Sports. The starting five. This is our lineup brought to you by State Farm. And uh, guys, check it out. Blake Griffin, what can we expect here? Well, I can't imagine anybody being more terrifying to an opposing center uh, than Blake Griffin. When he gets going, when he's heading your direction, and you're trying to come over to help uh, defensively, and he explodes, I mean, you better believe that you're going to be watching what he does on the highlight reels for the next 24 hours at least. Yeah, you just aren't safe around him. Watch out below. Even if you're not guarding him, you're in danger of being posterized and dunked on. He's always buzzing around the hoop. And you know what? He does it by putbacks and also off the dribble. Taking a look at the Clippers. This is a must win for them. Down two games to one with their hometown fans cheering them on. See if they can extend the series and force a deciding game five. You know, in this situation, Kevin, it's really all about survival. And sometimes the desperation that's born out of being in a must-win situation, especially when you're at home, is enough to get you over the hump. So we'll see if it plays out that way. Well, and if they do manage to come out on top today, it really gives them momentum heading into game five. Even on the road, they'd be feeling pretty good about themselves going into that game. And that was very confident offense right there. And stolen by Miller. From outside the arc, shot is blocked. About one minute into the first quarter. Knocks it loose. Butler passes it away. And is out of bounds to the Clippers as the Clippers retain possession. Now we'll go to Doris Burke, who had a chance to talk with head coach Kevin McHale. I asked him how he was going to slow down Blake Griffin in this one, and he told me, any way we can. He went on to add that he didn't really have any one answer for Blake because he is such a dynamic player, adding, you see the dunks in the highlight reels, but he can hurt you in a lot of other ways as well. Really, we just have to throw everything we can his way. Guys? And thank you, Doris. I don't think it's possible to make a better pass than that, guys. And he finished uh, so well, Clark, too. Not too shabby on that jam. Not no, bad at all. And it takes perfect timing to pull off that alley-oop, but these two guys seem to have that synergy between each other. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Good on the shot. Well, he can shoot the three. We know that. But I'm not sure that he does. And they weren't anywhere near him on that possession. Boy, a fast start here. Their offense has been very impressive. Yeah, they're making their own luck, Clark. Really playing with a purpose offensively. The shot's good from Smith. Boy, they answered that three-pointer right back. It is raining threes in here now, boys. Got that one up quick. Miller's got eight points. That's now six straight points off open threes. Get a hand up, fellas. Pay attention to the scouting report. Well, you know how quickly things can go south when you start giving up wide open looks to this team. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. It's going to make you earn it from the line. The Rockets shoot their first free throws of the game. Free throw, good, Bogan. He hits both from the strike. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Here's Butler, and another three for the Clippers. Rockets leading by five. Bidnauer kicks to take of it. Oh, are you kidding me? That was a power yes. punch right there. Yes. Oh, great. You know, he may not have the elevation or the hops. He doesn't need it, though. The big fella throwing it down anyway. He usually does save the high flying for the little guys. Clark, you're right. Yeah, well, sometimes it looks like he's pinned to the ground, but when he gets positioned like that, he can put it down. And that was Sprite bringing you the close-up on that big-time play. 
Well, for him, that finger roll is almost second nature. That's a tough shot for most players. Ridnauer dishes to Kirilenko. Good. And the assist goes to Ridnauer. Ridnauer's got his fifth assist in this one. Another open look hits bottom from outside. Yeah, and that's three of their last five makes from beyond the arc. Good team effort here, and that's what's gotten them this double-digit lead. You know, I tell you what, Steve, the way they come out here in the first quarter, they might um, blow them out of the water. Now here's Butler. Six points for him. Outside Kirilenko. They get the rebound. Here's Bogut. Jams it straight down. Yeah, things could not be going much better for them so far, particularly offensively. I'll say, I mean, you don't see too many first... quarter leads this big and the Clippers decide to take their first time out here they won their last game and that was Thursday night well watching that game Kevin you couldn't help but think it was going to be their night as well as everybody on the team was shooting the ball no question about it Steve I mean you're not going to lose too many games where you have multiple players getting locked in like they were well, he's got to be disappointed with his team's play over the course of this run. And, uh, you know, thus the timeout, you got to talk things over, try to get back into the game. Something has to change for them as they haven't looked good at all during this run. So a timeout is appropriate here. Houston, a whole new five on the floor. These players were extremely tough inside during the regular season. Here now are the block leaders on the 2K leaderboard. 
You look at the magician, a fierce inside defender, tops in the NBA in blocks. And, of course, insanity, right on the trail. Well, both of these guys understand the importance of a block shot as a game-changing play and how it can ignite a crowd when they do their job in the paint. Soft defense right there. Way too soft. Here's Jones. Bangs home the trifecta. That's nine straight points coming off three three-pointers. The defense just getting shelled. Steve, the threes are killing them. I think they've got to find a way to chase them off the three-point line. Now here's Wade. Looking for his first bucket of the game. It's blocked. And here they come. Here's Jones. That's good. They're really struggling defensively, giving up too many easy buckets. And they've been on fire offensively as a result, Clark. Alley-oop pass. What a play. No regular dunk there. A superb alley-oop. And it was a great pass, too, to set him up. No, those two have such a great feel for each other. Uh, they're just fun to watch play together. Poked away. It's stolen by Jones. Wow. Oh, what a throw down. Yes. Look at that athletic play. Incredible. Wow. What a start they've gotten off to. A big lead for them, and we're not even out of the first quarter yet. And it's not just their hot offense here. I mean, they're playing very strong defense, too, guys. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. And now that's it. Finish the break. Throw down with force. And check out your point guard showing you major bounce above the rim. How about this? The smaller the player, the bigger the highlight. I love that. <laughs> and that was a highlight. Terrific finish. Los Angeles calls timeout. Well, they're getting way too many easy shots in the paint. So this timeout is specifically for that reason. you you got to tighten up the defense and start to make it harder for that offensive team. I know it's easier said than done, but right now it just doesn't seem like the necessary effort is there. Houston making some changes. Griffin kicks to Smith. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. They get a hand on it. And it's out of bounds. The Clippers able to retain possession here. <laughs> Clippers with the ball. Wade buries it from three-point range. And defensively, remember, you got to fight through screens to avoid giving up open looks. Yeah, you're exactly right, Steve. And the defense has to go over the top of that screen. I think that's how they get it done. Now, here's Ridnow. Right now averaging five points a game. The defense has done very little to slow him down so far. Swiped it away. The number's in their favor. Here's Barry. Right now. Oh, 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 what a throw yeah. down there. Oh. Man. And he throws it down with one hand. And another quick strike for them. No question which team is running the fast break better here today. Absolutely. I mean, they've been lethal in transition, Steve. It's one of the reasons they're out in front. Left side, Griffin. We've got 128 left to play in the first quarter. For three, Smith. No good. So Houston will take it the other way. Here's Kirilenko, and again, it's the Rockets from deep. And the long ball really falling for them early. And they're riding some really hot shooting. I mean, they're running ahead right now in this one. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. The finish, and Pekovic throws it down. Well, that was a dynamic two-hand dunk there. Right in the face of the defender. That was a tough, gritty finish. Here's Wade. Right now averaging seven points a game. Knocked loose and stolen by Pekovic for the fifth. Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was unbelievable. Look at that. How about that? Look at that. Three, two, one, blast off. <laughs> He's got into <laughs> orbit for that jam. All right, off that comment. Maybe we should call that the, the satellite slam. Oh, I like it. I like right. that. Okay. I don't. That's, that's way too much, Kevin. Settle down. Yeah. <laughs> to the paint. Here's Kirilenko. Oh, look out. Look out. Oh, 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 oh. 
Boy, an unbelievable dunk there. I mean, fellas, you've got to marvel at plays like that. He can really take off, can he, Steve? Yeah, he almost jumped through the roof on that one, guys. And the Clippers making a change here. Well, his shot blocking is always a factor, guys. Uh, that presence around the rim defensively just changes the whole picture strategically. Also, there's one other thing I've noticed with him. I mean, he's great at stripping the ball away from you at the last possible moment. That's not an easy play to make, but he seems to have developed the knack for doing just that. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. They're getting whatever they want in the paint early on. Well, doing work inside, that's why they've been able to build the lead. They've been playing um, smash-mouth basketball. The Rockets shooting their fourth attempt at the free-throw line. And right here. There's 18 seconds left here in the opening quarter. He dishes it to Griffin. Fades and shoots, and it's good. Boy, he really used his height there. He sure did, Steve. I mean, a nice touch on that shot. Here's Scott. Good. And the assist goes to Ridnow. Scott's got his first points of the night. And stolen by Pekovic. And the buzzer sounds, and the first, and we've got a blowout underway here. The Rockets ahead, delivering the blowout. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. Welcome back to game four as we get ready to start things up again. And for the Rockets here, they've been putting on a show, guys. A lot of hard work being put in on the glass. This is a very physical team. They're doing a nice job in the paint. Yeah, and I think they're doing a good job gang rebounding too, Steve. Everybody's boxing out down there. Unable to get the ball in bounds. They get called for the five-second violation. 